Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. This is the Ice Temple in level 7, Frozen Hyrule. Oh, the Ice Temple has opened up magically for me once again. You would think it would try to stay locked, you know, to keep predators out from robbing the graves of the dead. But, uh, you know, you just can't question the game. I mean, seriously, never do it, otherwise... Things will happen, and you don't want that to happen. That's not a good thing that you want to happen, and I bet you I need to press those switches to get a key. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Just by going to this formation and boink! Yeah! Uh, what? Who? What? Who? Well, that didn't... Oh, I bet you I have to push these things on the switch. Just taking a guess here. Um, is this something that I'm going to have to do? I don't know, but it certainly seems like something that I can do, because I, I can push these statues on the switches. So, let's... Oh, uh, uh, wahoo! Uh, how many switches are in this room anyway? Um, well, I betcha that I'll need at, at least a couple of these to press the switches, and I'll need links to press the other ones. So let's just try and like hold all the switches down, like let's put a link over here, and now let's put a link at this corner here. Will it work? Yeah! That's a lot better than pushing all those statues across the room. That would have taken forever actually, in fact I only probably needed one statue to do that if I would have just switched links like that. Yeah! You're going down Shadow Link, and I will steal your riches! I am freaking Robin Hood! So okay, there's three paths now. And this one leads to an armos area. This one goes to a locked door. I shouldn't say a locked door, a closed door. And this leads to the boomerang! I'll take that for 8,000, please. Alex, so let's see what's in here. Oh my god, they're still alive. I, I thought they, were, they would go back to their normal places. Oh, poopers. Oh, I can just hit them in the doorway. I can't see them, but I can hit them. That's kind of stupid. I just kind of like broke the room there. That, that just defeats the whole challenge of the room. And what's blocking me, I do not know. But let's pull this switch and open that door in the middle. I bet you it's going to do. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, that sounds like it did it. So, there. Yep, there we go. And let's see what's around here. This is some stairs here. This probably takes you back up to the top if you fall down from here. It's just my best guess here. This look, this lighter colored flooring looks like the pattern of the flooring on the upper floor. So, that, yeah, you probably fall down on this dark blue area. I can get those force gems on the other screen with the boomerang, which I'll probably do for the heck of it, because falling down this hole won't give me, or won't make you take any damage whatsoever. So that's kind of useless on their part, and these bumpers will probably knock you right in there with one shot. Oh, poopers! Oh, you can just walk the, walk down there, you know, with your own momentum. Momentum is the bane of your existence on ice temples. Uh, so, let's just patiently wait and scuttle our way over there when we can, like so, and grab the... grab the... thank you! And, uh, let's carefully... Maybe I won't get the other force jump over there. You can get that if you want to. I won't. No, 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 no. Wizard of the Death. Oh, shoot. I'm trapped in ice. Ugh. Yeah, you go. Ugh, I hate when they freeze you because you got to shake the control stick to get free. Uh, and press buttons like a madman. There appears to be frozen critters inside the ice. Woo! Force jump. Tumbling. It's like a ball pit of gem sharpness, um, so that is not very kid friendly I have to say, I think the kids would get cut up a little bit if we were to go in there, so there's two doors to take, I'm gonna go left, just because that was the first door I seen open, and there appears to be things that I can burn, there's enemies trapped in there at least I think, oh that pathway is blocked, okay so I'm gonna need something from another area, unless I can, yeah I didn't think that would work, I didn't think, I mean, I didn't think I could break the ice or anything like that. So, wait, 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 wait. What if I do like this? Can I, like... No, I can't make the boomerang start on fire. You? Ah, oh, hammer attack! You're stunning me, Shadow Link. Why must you stun me, Shadow Link? Gimme! Yeah. What does this stone sign say? Move rocks and ice away from the part that's lay me rest in peace. Uh, what? 
Are they talking about that over there? I do not know, but I wish I could destroy that sign, because I love to destroy signs with my sword. Am I supposed to, like, throw bombs over here to blow- Holy cow! The bomb just slid right across the ice. Um, so I betcha I need to, like, get him to stop on the ice using those edges. Um, am I supposed to, like, burn all the skulls or something? Or am I supposed to just leave the skulls? Because I don't think I can- I don't think I can leave the skulls behind. That seems like it would be impossible with the way the bricks are. So let's just blow up the skulls on our first, uh, movement around here. And throw this over here, quick! And one more skull to destroy, and oh shoot, I just screwed myself, didn't I? Yup. Or at least I think I did. Um, I might be able to pull this off. If I, like, throw a bomb across... Ugh! No, oh, that worked! Awesome! Because I should be able to blow up that skull like that. There we go! Um, hmm, that did... Oh, wait, wait, there was one more skull. Oh, I was gonna say, that did absolutely nothing. But that's because I didn't finish it. So whoopsie doodle. So what is it, what appears? Uh, fire rod. This is exactly what we need to progress in those other areas. And what's down here? Probably something to get back up to the top if you fall down. Yep, that looks exactly like what it is. But let's see what's in the pots just for the heck of it. That doesn't look like anything that we're going to be needing, especially since we already got the fire rod. But, hey, what do you... I mean, you might need something in here, you never know. There might be a... like a hidden heart or something, I would doubt it though. But, you just never know. And there's a bunch of pots in this room. You know what, I don't feel like cu cutting any more pots up, so... Let's just leave that behind and burn this for the heck of it. Oh, there's no enemies in there. So, well, there, there is something in there. Oh, only some of them turn into, um, other things? It certainly looks like everything's got something in them. Like, if you look inside this, these ice formations, it looks like there's something in them. It's kind of hard to tell what's in there, though. Let's try and burn these in the line. Yeah! I am pro! Okay, so there is three doors up there, an alternate path over here, and a confused PK Gam sitting behind the camera. Woo! First gem! Awesome sauce! And stop getting hyper, PK Gam. You must relax. There's a switch over there. Um, there's a treasure chest over there. Uh, is that something that I want? I could throw a link over there. I'm sure it's. I'll want something in that treasure chest. So let's just grab you and throw you like that. Greeny, you go over here. 100 force gems, press the switch, and that is just the pathway back. So what was that other path? I mean, what were those three um, holes for? Am I, is this like a split path or something, or is it just like a side path for goodies and stuff like that? Well, this thing takes me to the Game Boy Advance screen. Here's a chest. Only five force gems. Oh, uh, pardon me, blue ones are worth five, not uh, 20, like I said in the last part. So, oh, I should say the last part, excuse me. Oh, well. I believe they're the same value as regular rupees in other Zelda games, so... Uh, but I'm pretty sure that, like, rupees sometimes change their value depending on what the game they're at, so... Nah, I don't know, it, it's just all dependent, so... Whatever, let's not... Let's not waste time pondering the great wonders of the Zelda universe. Let's just continue on our adventure. And there is a whole load of bouncing critters. And they're explodable! Ah! Ah! They're sliding bombs of death. I don't know what the heck they are. Are they bomb chews? They certainly look like the type of critters that, look, that are like bomb chews, but bomb chews are not you. Or I should say, are not our enemies. They are our friends, and what am I supposed to do in this room? I see a switch in the middle. Ah! Don't bomb my force gems away, or I should say bounce my force gems away. Um, well, let's switch. Ah, let me... Thank you. This room is havoc all over the place. Oh, I see what the switches are doing. They're closing off the holes. Okay, so there is... Yeah, give me that. Ah! Stop that! I want my force gems. And this will close another hole. And I need to find one more switch, which is under here. Ah! Let me burn this quickly. Button. Yeah. Hey, the, oh, the switches are opening up again. What the poop? I'm supposed to leave links there or something? I do not know. But this is getting kind of dangerous here. Um, wait, I can... Oh, poop, I died. 
Well, I got four fairies to revive me. That was craziness. So how do I... I probably can just, like, leave a link on one of the switch... Or I should say, on the switches. And they won't take any hits. Because, you know, they aren't active when you do that. Because, you know, they don't, only the active links that are, you know, highlighted take hits. That's just my guess. So I don't think that if I leave a link at random places that they will get slaughtered by bomb blasts. Yeah, I think they'll be just fine. So now I just gotta keep Greeny here safe, and there we go. Alright, it only took one death to figure it out. And there's Force Gems! Not that many compared to other areas, but that's alright. I've already got uh, 1,196, so I'm doing pretty well, I have to say. So let's get as many as we can before they disappear, and that's good enough. I see there's a heart inside this one. It's, it's slightly pink. So I can burn this. Yeah, whenever whenever you see a pink one, you know you'll know it's a heart. Um, and I definitely need the hearts now that I died. So that makes me quite joyful. Um, uh oh, I'm not liking the looks of those ice blocks. Um, that's probably the boss door. So that needs a key. What if I go across here? Yeah. Oh wait, I guess I'm gonna have to burn this here. Uh, that works. Awesome. That really wasn't as dangerous as I thought it would be, so that was quite nice. There's a key. I'm gonna drop that over there. Switch links. Oh, I'm sorry I dropped you in the hole, Greeny. Throw you... Oh, poopers. Yep. Oh, shoot, all the links are going down. And this time, one took a hit because the main one t uh, fell in there. Oh, I oh, now I know I can't throw a link across there. Yeah, I forgot to burn those blocks. I am being an idiot. There we go. And there's a heart container, which refills my life anyway, so I guess that doesn't matter in the least. Let's grab the key, go to the boss door, and see what dangers await us beyond the door. Click source. And maybe it's not a boss door, but there is four paths, or I should say three paths, and we came from one. Oh my god! They turn the floor into ice. No, this will be a tricky, dicky battle. Ugh. I'll just go into horizontal formation and take them down like this. Yeah, this is working quite well, actually. You're gonna take a hit like that, and yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Now they're starting to change colors early. You're not allowed to do that. Ugh. You. Oh, I need pur purple ink. Thank you. Uh, I would love to knock you in the hole and show you the powers of down is death. And I didn't need to go to the Dark World at all, did I? But yeah, the, the option to go into the Dark World is here if the links go down here. But wow, that was a very quick and decisive boss battle, I have to say. Oh, I should have grabbed that Force Gem when I was at the top there. I'm probably not going to have enough time. No, poopers. So I guess there's only one path, huh? Well, I guess that seemingly split path was not split at all. Okay, what I'm gonna think I'm gonna do is leave those links behind, just to make it a little bit easier for me. Get on here and then call all the links over when I get to that other platform on the other side, <clears throat> just to make it a little bit easier to keep track of things. And there we go. Call them all over. There we go. I'm surprised the other links didn't get hit by the bumper or something like that. Just because, you know, that they, that one time they fell down, or one fell down a hole. That was kind of silly, actually. And this will probably open this door. Oh, what the poop? Uh, there's another set of torches over there, so I might as well light them both at the same time, just to save myself a little time. And what is over here? A bunch of switches. How do I stop these bombs from sliding all the way off to the edge? I don't know. Well, they kind of stop wherever they want to. Uh, or I should say, when they get to so and so far, so I guess that's misleading on my part. So if I throw a bomb, like, right over here, okay, that's just gonna go right down the hole. So how do I hit that other one? No oh, poop. Like, how do I hit that other switch? Because it's just gonna slide right past it if I throw it to, uh, yeah, it's just gonna do that. Can I, like, um, I can't throw a link across there, because it's three spaces wide. Uh, can I, like, burn the ice to, like, stop the sliding? No, I didn't think so. I should have known better than that. So how do I hit that last button? Let's see if I do something like this, and... Wait, how did that do that? Why did that do that? Why did that bomb stop the sliding? 
Why? Well, what am I supposed to do to keep it from not sliding? What, the poop? Can I, like... Uh, how did I keep that from... Ah! I did not mean to start that bomb on fire. Whoopsie doodle. Uh, if I, like... Maybe if I'll just, like, time it. Yeah! Oh, that was bad timing. But I kind of got the timing down now, and there's hearts there. So let's just, like... Throw it down! 